All right, some warm-ups to get us started. These are not... Hey, guys in class, this is not what the test will look like, but knowing these things is how you answer questions quickly without drawing the entire unit circle. So these should be quick. We should be answer, able to answer these pretty quick, and that will help us know how to do unit circle problems without drawing out the whole thing. So if you're watching at home, uh, press pause and give them a try, and we'll come back and check them out. So number one, the short sides. So every single short side of a triangle in the unit circle is how long? Uh-oh, I thought this was easy. Oh, you need me to tell me? I need you to tell me. One half. One half. Again, every short side, if you draw a triangle and it has a short side, that short side is one half long. you got to be careful about whether it's positive or negative. Positive or negative, but it, they're all one half. How about the medium sides? Root 2 over 2, that would be G. And then the long sides, whoops, root 2 over 2. The long sides are root 3 over 2. So that's E. And you probably also remember that if a triangle has a short side, it has a long side. So those two kind of go together. If it has a medium side, it has two medium sides. They're both root 2 over 2. All right, so that's one piece of, or one set of information. The shallow angles, what are all the shallow angles? Let's start calling on names here. What are all the shallow angles? Over six. And what I thought about putting was not just pi over six, but you could put like n pi over six, anything over six is going to be a shallow angle. So 5 over 6, 7 over 6, 11 over 6. All right, how about the middle angles? Which one's that? Anything over 4 is a middle angle. And anything over 4 leads to the medium sides. The steep angle then is the over 3s. That would be A. And of course, the radius of the unit circle is 1. All right, again, that's how you think through the unit circle without having to draw the whole thing. You put the triangle in the right spot, label the sides, and then pick what you need. Uh, I guess the only thing I didn't put on here that you need is if you want cosine, then which coordinate goes with cosine, x or y? Which coordinate goes with cosine, x or y? Y. X. You had a 50-50 shot. And Y goes with sign. All right, let's go over some from the worksheet.